Hi everyone, my name is Matthew and I'm an educator at New England Aquarium. Today we're going to learn to draw one of my favorite animals, the yellow garden eel. Garden eels are slender and sometimes shy as seafloor dwellers. You can find them swaying in their exhibit by the top of the giant ocean tank, searching for passing morsels of food. However, in the blink of an eye, they can all quickly disappear down into their sandy burrows. Some species of garden eel are found in Caribbean coral reef ecosystems, while others live in the Indo-Pacific Ocean. These eels can swim, but they prefer to stay in their burrows for protection from predators. Garden eels cluster their burrows together in a colony where you'll find them all together bobbing their heads, looking for food to eat. When there's a colony of garden eels swaying together in the current, it looks almost like a field of grass blowing in the wind. Thus the name, garden eels. So what do they eat? Garden eels like to eat zooplankton, which are tiny animals that float around in the water. The eels use their large eyes to spot the food and then move their heads in the current to catch the zooplankton as it drifts by. You can tell which way the water is flowing by watching the eels as they'll be facing into the current. When a current is strong, they'll bend into a question mark shape to reduce the drag on their body. This allows the eels to hold steady and keep feeding since those strong currents are carrying lots of food. You might be wondering why the garden eels don't get swept away by the fast flowing waters. Garden eels keep their tails inside the burrow, which helps anchor them to the sea floor. They also secrete a kind of sticky mucus that keeps their sandy burrow from caving in. These odd, beautiful garden eels are also really fun to draw. So grab your favorite marker, pencil to crayon, and a piece of paper, and we'll walk through the steps together. All right, so to draw a garden eel, first we're gonna to need to draw a long skinny line since they have long skinny bodies. So draw a line and we'll curve it up a little at the top. Next, we'll add another line next to it. This is what we call a parallel line. It'll be a little to the side, but it'll follow that same curving shape. Now we need to add a big eye so we can look for our zooplankton. So I'm gonna add a nice big circle here. And inside I'm gonna draw a smaller circle and an even tinier circle, and then color that middle one in to give it a pupil. Now we need to draw the head, which will give it a little triangle shaped mouth for to catch those zooplankton. And to show there's another eye, we're gonna add a bump, a little half circle on the other side of the head. And if you want, you can color in that mouth. Now we need to add the dorsal fin, which is our fin on the back of the garden eel. So for this, we're gonna make another parallel line a little closer to the body this time. And we're gonna stop about here and we're going to make a line to end it. And inside the dorsal fin, you can add some little line segments to help show the shape of that fin. And in order to show that this is coming out of a burrow, I'm gonna make a sideways letter C at the bottom of my eel. Now to show that this is a hole that it's coming out of, I'm gonna color in the sides of that circle on both sides of my eel. Now let's make another eel, and this one will be bending into that question mark shape as it faces into a fast current. So we'll start a curving line up and then we'll bend it out like this. And let's add our parallel line here for the body. And now let's add a big circle for our eye with a smaller circle again, an even smaller circle to make that pupil. And let's draw our mouth. We'll have a nice open mouth to catch the zooplankton as they come by. And add another eye bump here, a little half circle. And don't forget that dorsal fin, so that third parallel line that's even closer to the body. We'll end it there and then we'll fill in little line segments to show the shape of that fin.
And to make our burrow, remember that sideways letter C. We'll color in the edges here. And there we go. We have two garden eels. Let's add a third garden eel. This one will give a wiggly body. And I'll show you a trick. We're going to make it go behind these other two eels. So for this, let's start with a curving line. We'll stop there. And on the other side of that eel in front, we'll continue our line. Now let's remember to make that parallel line for the body. Stop here. Pick it up again after we pass over that eel in front. And let's remember to make our eye. And a mouth. And this one will give a full cheek, because maybe it's chewing some food that it just ate. Oh, I almost forgot that dorsal fin. So let's add that parallel line closer to the body. Goes all the way up, and we'll stop there. And then we'll add our line segments. And our sideways letter C at the bottom to make that burrow. And to show that these are on the bottom of the seafloor, let's add a nice curvy line to show the sandy seafloor bottom. And how about we add some zooplankton? Since zooplankton are really tiny, I'm just going to draw some little circles here to show the food they're eating. And there you have it. Some yellow garden eels, which you can color them with your favorite yellow marker. Or you can look up pictures of other types of garden eels, like spotted garden eels. There's even a type that's striped with yellow and white, which is really cool. Hope you enjoyed drawing the garden eels, and we'll see you again soon.